Hello everyone and good afternoon. Thank you for being with us today to participate in this webinar organized by Twinning Europe. My name is Marta and I will be the, the host for today. This webinar uh, will be recorded and the recording will be available on Twinning YouTube channel. So if you have questions, please post them in the chat and uh, we will have a Q&A session at the end uh, to address uh, most of them. And the focus for today is media literacy, which is a basic instrument to preserve democracy, but how could this work? And uh, I'm very happy to introduce you Maria Therese van Ben, who is a journalist, writer, filmmaker, and also trainer for Safer Internet. Her goal is to empower people in media literacy from kindergarten to his high age. She will show a couple of ideas on how media literacy can be integrated into your lesson in an easy and humorous way. She's also the winner of the Lower Australian Journalist Prize and nominated for the Austrian Business Film. So without further ado, Maria Therese, if you're ready, I would like to pass the floor to you. So, hi, hi everybody. Hello, welcome to the seminar. How does media literacy fit to your lesson? Uh, thank you for joining uh, this seminar. This is my first seminar in English, so I beg your pardon for mistakes I will make. Uh, please don't hesitate using the chat for asking if there are any questions. People are particularly vulnerable to prop propaganda, misinformation and fake news. Teachers must be well trained to empower students with the necessary competences to critically understand and evaluate information reported by all forms of media. Yes, my name is Malitaris van Veen. I'm a writer, film producer, journalist and also trainer for media literacy. And I'm working with people from kindergarten to high age. I'm mother of a family with four grown-up children, proud grandmother, happily married to the best husband in the world. And we are living in Austria on the countryside. This seminar is about how does media literacy fit to your lesson. Uh, I, I have created some polls, some survivals to get in contact with you. Uh, but the goal of today is to give you an idea how you can find your own way in implement media literacy to your lessons, no matter which subject you teach. We also will have a short overview to social media platforms and our biology and history. Afterwards, I give you, I hope so, an idea how you can fit media literacy to your lessons. I choose a couple of tools of my own experience. I normally use these tools in workshops when I'm back in, in school again. They work also online. I have tried it. These tools are almost games. This Saturday was World Game Day. That is a reason to remember that playing is more than keep children calm. Playing is the rehearsal for reality. Our brains get opened for learning and it it is a change to get to know others. I personally, I love to play games. It is joy, love and power. So let us play together to get more media literacy and more peace and freedom in the world. There are different kinds of games are known by the science of game. Games to get in contact, to relax, adventure games, to battle, to solve problems, to build and construct, and also to cooperate and to evolve. I feel honored and grateful to talk to you. And wow, 148 participations on this topic. Amazing. Sorry, yes? but the participants would like to see you, if possible, and if you if you want, of course. Yeah. It's okay you, for me. You, Okay, so you can turn on your camera. It's on. Uh, we can't see, can see you. Hmm. You did you click on start my webcam? 
start, shall we? Okay. Okay. Now it's now we can see you. Perfect. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Yeah. And now we go ahead to poll one. I want to know how old are your students? Six to ten years. 10 to 15, 15 to 19 years older or younger. Give me an X <laughs> or a point. No vote. Can you see the results, Marie-Therese? Yes, I see, but I, I okay. just... Okay. Yeah. Hmm? I see your teachers with wide, widely spread dust from all over Europe. Propaganda, misinformation and disinformation uh, have something in common. They are, or they often overlap, overlap in meaning. People are particular, vulnerable to propaganda, misinformation and fake news. We all have to be well trained with the necessary competences to critically understand and evaluate information reported by all forms of media. Media, media literacy gets more and more important, not only for young people, also for adults to be able to encourage children. The terms propaganda, misinformation and fake news often overlap in meaning, but they have something in common. They are used to cause this harm, intentionally or unintentionally. This information is something that has been around for a very, very long time. None of these phenomena are new. Remember Napoleon, he worked war through disinformation. Also the USA in Vietnam. Or remember the darkest capital of our history, Adolf Hitler and the propaganda of the Second World War. Media literacy is an important skill to be able to make a difference between information and disinformation. Media literacy is considered as an important element of education. Media literacy is the empowerment for critical thinking. It is the ability to participate in media culture in a productive way. I think it is very important to think critically, to be critical. It is the basis of democracy, freedom and peace. Modern society is floated with media that has an impact on people's living. So your assessment is required again. Poll two, how high is your level in media literacy? Excellent, quite good, not so good, terrible. Excellent, quite good, <laughs> not so good, okay, quite good. Most people doesn't know what media literacy means. So they say, I know nothing about, or yeah, go away, this modern stuff. Oh, quite good, the most of you. Yeah, media literacy is the ability to identify different types of media and understand the message it is submitting. The word literacy usually describes the ability to read and write. Reading literacy and media literacy have a lot in common. Reading starts with recognizing letters. Pretty soon, readers can identify words and most importantly, understand what those words mean. Readers then become writers. With more experience, readers and writers develop strong literacy skills. All types of media have something in common. Someone created it, and it was created for a reason. The basis of media literacy is to understand this reason. The basic elements of media literacy are reading comprehension, 
sense-making reading, ability to ask questions, ability to rate the results of your research, general knowledge and life experience. Reading and writing are the most important skills for media literacy. Sense-making reading, maybe in your mother tongue, concludes understanding and expressing my own opinion in words and writing. It is not that important which language it is. This language should be the language I am comfortable with. Ability to ask questions and assess answers. Media literacy is based on research. The quality of your resulting research is based on your questions and how you are able to rate the answers. You will always rate the answers based on your general knowledge and coupled with special knowledge and, of course, life experience. As more as I will research, the more I will know about false information or which part of the answer is important for me, for my research or less important. The ability to respond critically to also online propaganda, misinformation and fake news is more than a safeguarding tool. However, it is also an important democratic competence. The key question of media literacy is who benefits from this information? Is this information important for me, for my daily life to survive? Yes, your assessment is again required. Poll 3. Did you ever share fake news? Yes, no, don't know, do not ask. I hope you are honest. No, never. Wow. Maybe I, I would can't tell you. You didn't do it on a voluntary. I mean, <laughs> I, I can't no. believe <laughs> because everybody and, sometimes yeah. misinterprets things. Me too. During the first lockdown, came a message about dolphins are back in Trieste. I was so excited, I believed I shared. It was a fake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it exactly. can happen. Not on happen. purpose, maybe, but, maybe, but everyone can everyone get a news get and, uh, and uh, be, mm -hmm. be excited and then and share it without, share it without yes. being uh, yeah. Now informed about, about it, so, about it. so it, can it can happen. I would say. say. So please feel free, feel free, free to be honest. Be honest. Probably <laughs> nobody knows one. who makes the there and yeah. there. Yeah. Exactly. So, no problem. Ah, so we go ahead to social media platforms. From um, yeah, sharing misinformation, we're going ahead to straight ahead to the social media platforms. The characteristic of social media platform or social medias and also the whole internet is you get knowledge, opinions and information very, very fast. Social medias are made for to get into contact. Facebook was founded at a university and the real goal was to find a partner. We are not consumers, we are all prosumers. We create content. So self-awareness and self-confidence are very important. Kids are facing a huge amount of information from a wide area of sources, far beyond the traditional media, TV, radio, newspaper, magazines or books. They are texting messages, memes, viral videos, social media, video games, advertising and more, mostly without knowing about their responsibility. Safer Internet is an organization I also work for and Safer Internet um, makes every year a youth monitor. Uh, it shows the most common apps young people use. I think it's similar to other countries and now I want to share my screen. Oh, moment. This is the only website I didn't prepare. <laughs> a moment, please. Here it is. So, 
uh, where is to share the share my screen? It might take a while, take a but while, I see it's uh, loading. loading. So. Maybe, but I don't, uh, I don't see the, the right screen. But I can give you the, the link to the chat and you have a look on your own. Maybe, if you want. And I talk about um, the most important app for um, young people in Austria is WhatsApp by 98%. Uh, on second, YouTube, but they use YouTube not as a social media platform, more than a searching machine. Uh, third, Instagram, beautiful picture. Um, yeah. Our uh, fourth, uh, Snapchat by uh, 75%. TikTok is coming up. Uh, and uh, sixth, Pinterest. Facebook is far away. And then Discord, Skype, Twitch, Telonym, Twitter and Telegram. These are the, import, uh, the important uh, apps young Austrian are using. And now I want to know which uh, social media platforms do you use and which searching machines. Um, so please, Paul, four and five. You can give more than one, also um, more answers. Me, I almost use um, Facebook, but it's my generation. I'm, I'm <laughs> over 50, <laughs> not the young people. Also Twitter and Instagram. I know TikTok and, Snap, uh, TikTok and Snapchat, but... Um, yeah, WhatsApp, but WhatsApp is more than a, a messenger dienst. It's, it's also a, a social media platform. Yeah. <laughs> adults are using Facebook. Yeah, young adults also leave Facebook. I read the national or international newspapers. Okay, Facebook, Instagram, the second, and then Twitter. Yeah, for searching information, which sources do you prefer? Wikipedia, Google, or another searching machine? Do you know other searching machines than, than Google? No, what? None of these. A library. <laughs> A library can also be online. Remember. Yandex, Duck, Duck, Go, Brave. I don't know Yandex. What kind of searching machine is Yandex? Google.com, Ask.com, Bing.com. Mm -hmm. I know. Information on CNN, BBC, of course. We used to go to the library when we were young. Now Google is a library for us. Ah, Yandex is a Russian, I think. Okay. Must have a look. I'm always the, le the learning one. Microsoft Edge, YouTube, Google. Okay, so now let's have a look at our biology. <laughs> Why biology? I will tell you. Let's do a short step to our nature. Humans concern to the system of animals. 
humans are vertebrates and they also concern two primates. When you compare humans with other vertebrates, you will discover we are not the strongest and we are not the fastest. Humans need a very long time of shelter by their parents and we are vulnerable. Humans' best known characteristics are the self-confidence or self-awareness, humans are able to guess and figure, humans belong to religion, arts and culture, humans are reflecting and planning creatures and humans are able to communicate. The theory of evolution sees the development of language as a milestone in the human development. One sees this in the evolutionary theory pointed out how language might emerge. The thesis is about how language has arisen by lie or a joke. This is my favorite thesis. Technical electronical devices are in our daily life for about 50 years. Such devices are not anchored in our evolution. We are not able to make difference between reality and fiction at the first moment. The first biology motions are almost the motion you got like in real life. Hormones are released by virtual triggers and our fear center reacts as it did 200,000 years ago. So please, let us be a little more understandable and knowing about the madness which is going on in Internet. Of course, open up your mind and your eyes, but calm situations with, of misunderstanding with sympathetic and empathy, not with raised index finger. Let's take a look at ourselves. I give you an example. Well, you go to the cinema when they are open again, but in Austria they are open again. You watch a Hollywood blockbuster about love and crime. All the things are full of good stories. All the things are good stories full of change. Uh, I'm the crying one. Show me a birth or a wedding I cry. My husband is always excited about strenuous people. When we are watching a movie, for example, there's a mother-in-law with some strange habits, he gets very nervous. One part of the film industry is designed precisely for this biological human phenomenon and it is making billions. Does anyone have an idea which film industry I mean? Does somebody wants to give me an answer? An idea? Does anyone has an idea? Somebody is typing. I'll wait a moment. I'm waiting. Action movies, maybe? Bollywood? Mm -hmm. Blockbusters. Dramatic movie, I suppose. Martha, do you have an idea? Or do you know the answer? Can you repeat the questions and I will write it in the chat so they have yeah. it there? One or if you want to write it. Yes, I can, I can write it. Yes, I can write it. As you it. want. Yeah. So they have it there. Uh, the film industry is designed for this biological human phenomenon and it is making billions. Also the, the, the goal of this industry is um, to catch this, to catch the, the human's biology. 
Soap opera, emotions, robots. CSI. I give you the answer. Um, porn. Pornus. The answer, I, I, I tip, I give it also to the chat. Porns. Fairy tales for adults. Nothing real, but it works. Mass, most young people are enlightened with porn. Porn is the most common disinformation among young people. They really believe sex and love are running by that way. Remember. So, go ahead to the games. <laughs> From porns we come to games. I made a selection of games you can fit into your lesson. These games improve the skills of media literacy. They are deduction games. Deduction games are games which have less rules and you discover on your own how you can play. They empower pupils to look behind the curtain and to cover up who benefits from spreading information. Amused, smart and with a lot of love and understanding for how humans be. To be amused is the way I recommend to you. Let students make the experience of this information on their own to cover up and to find solution. Don't raise your index finger. Be amused and teach them to laugh because fail is a shortcut. F A I L. F for first, A for attempt, E I for in and L for learning. Fail is the first attempt in learning. For the games, you need no special tools. All the games without stop, you can play without writing. The games will improve communication and also writing skills. They will train the self-awareness and self-confidence. The students will learn to be tolerant, to accept other opinions and together you will have a lot of fun. The games may give you an idea how to get media literacy up to your lessons. But make your own rules. Let your students be the creators. As teacher, you have to be the anchor man or the anchor woman. You have to moderate the games or you play with. To be fit at media literacy, it's a never-ending story. You have to train and to train and to evolve and to train every day, every week. Keep your mind and your eyes open. Be tolerant and empathetic and don't forget to love. The master of thrill, Stephen King, who was also my inspiration, said once in his famous novel thriller, It, to beat the mad and the evil, you have to love. So let's have another try to share my, my screen. Mm -hmm. No, sorry. Share my screen. Desktop. No, that's the wrong one. I don't know why. We can we can see the desktop. Yes, only the desktop, but you have yeah. to see the uh, my browser with the information I want to that you can. Do, do you have a screen? Hmm? Do you have two screens? Yes. Ah, yeah, so maybe the... I, I put it on the. Exactly. Okay, so now I have to stop sharing. So. Let's try again, share my screen. No. If 
I got a thought for them. Now? Do you see? No. Sorry. Stop sharing. And I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. Wait, Isn't this me? Maybe I can <laughs> I can send you the the link because it's in I, I have made these sheets in, in Canva and maybe you can open the screen and show it. I can open it for you. For you. Mm -hmm. So, so Eleonora, just, so just no? what? Can you I'd can you put the link? Check. Check. So do you get it? Yes. yes. I'm, I'm, okay. okay. Ah, yes, in the prime. Okay. Just, just one second. Okay, so I will try to share my screen. Uh, I also create handouts for you uh, and um, afterwards I give you the address, the website where you can uh, download these handouts because on the handouts you have more information, also the needs and the learnings of the games. Um, can we, can you, we, we, we zoom it? I, I can read it on my other screen, but I think it's a little bit uh, tiny <laughs> for reading. Can you make it bigger, larger? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the second one. First, we, have the, the... we need the green one. It's first, and then afterwards, we need the, the blue one. Uh, I'm trying to make it bigger, but... No. Maybe you can uh, you can just read it. I mean, I, I they have a support, so they cannot see it. Mm. So what am I? Everyone, we see a tools. Yeah. Okay. Let's start by whispering. I think whispering everybody knows. <laughs> this is a. A common game it is placed both in kindergarten and still by children 12 years old. Uh, it is a little bit exciting. Uh, the players form a line or a circle. The first player comes up with a message and whispers it, whispers it to the ear of the second person in the line. It also called telephone or in German stille post, quiet mail. Um, the second player repeats the message to the third player and so on. When the last player is reached, they announce the message they heard to the entire recruit. The first pe person then compares the original message with the final version. The target is to pass around the message without garbling. Errors typically accumulate in the retellings, so the statement announced by the last players differs significantly from that of the first player so it never comes through yeah All, always gobbling and the learnings of this game are how information can be changed everybody is responsible for what he she says to find the source ask and rate the answers um, the needs for to play is about five minutes around, 10 minutes to discuss afterwards, and cards with the message you send around. I'm sorry, but it's, it's not possible to zoom the picture. Maybe you can it on your, on your screen, but I'm not sure. So the second one, Among Us. Um, this I'm game. Trying, uh, but, trying, but it's not possible, it's not to, possible zoom it. to zoom it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. But. Sorry. 
um, but you get the handouts yeah you can get it um, this game was created on my own by my own um, children should be 10 years or older yeah teachers have to be the anchor man the anchor woman to calm the situation and to moderate yeah? The learnings of this game is to find the source, ask questions and break the rules if you want to discover this information. Creating rules and the skills of democracy. Um, among us, there you um, select by random two students to be the destroyer, the imposter. These two students have the, uh, the task to spread this information. But nobody knows who is chosen. Yeah? Um, that's the way to change whispering. Yeah? Then the third game, it's also a little bit similar to, to whispering, is storytelling. Maybe you know it. Yeah? Because this tool is a common game. It is played both in kindergarten and still by adults who became a teacher. It's a little bit exciting, so please calm the situation if it uh, comes over. Um, you have to choose five to eight volunteers. One stays at the room, the others leave the room, the rest of the class are observers. The goal of the game is to retell a short story without making notes and to watch how the story becomes changed. The learnings Again, how information can be changed. Everybody is responsible for what he or she says. To find the source, ask and rate answers. Building bridges. Bridges, one of my favorite tools. It is how, about how to teach children from kindergarten media literacy. Young children, so you can show young children the right behavior how to use the internet in a healthy way you need a science book a well-chosen science book for children and technical devices to search in the internet maybe you find something interested uh, something you are interested in and you want to know more about when you read the book together now you can build the bridge to the internet, but I recommend three sentences to you. The first is, let's have a look. This sentence includes, I'm critical. I look behind the curtain. The second, after 15 minutes say, oh, I get headaches. My stomach doesn't feel fine. Let's make a break. Let us stop here and now. And third, at least one, last one, the most important, all these technical advices have something in common. They have a turn off button. Use it with the words, now we switch off. Stop or um, the next, <laughs> not stop, the next game is stop. No, we are already at the green one. Uh, stop or city, country, rivers. It is called in Austria and also in Greek, I know. Yeah? Maybe you know this game. It looks like this. You need paper, a pen. You have to know the alphabet. Now you decide which topics you will play on. Yeah? Keep it simple for the first time. Town, country, river or anything from your schedule. Yeah? Um, this tool is a common game. Children must be able to write and read. And the best way to play, teachers are part of the game. What you also need is um, general knowing about the columns and topics you are, but the learnings also general knowledge, professional knowledge to discuss and argument, to ask questions and rate the answers, to cr create rules and the skills of democracy. Um, why I have chosen this, this game? Because I have changed the rules. To get better skills for this information, you must allow to lie. Create a town, a vegetable, a dish, 
But if somebody asks you about your solution, you have to explain in a believable way. Then you get points too. If not, be careful. So, of course, you have to cover up your disinformation before the next round starts. And so we go on to the next tool. It is based also on lie or um, create fake news and watch yourself. Yeah, in oculation, I called this game. Um, take care of a respectful discussion when you create fake news. Um, I give you an idea how you can make it. Uh, make a short clip about walking along and put in an unusual kind of sound. One dangerous, the other one calm or romantic and feel the difference. So remember the human's nature. How do we react on sounds or maybe also on lurid headlines? So make some pictures and make different headlines. Lurid or peaceful? Which one gets more attention? This game or this tool needs about 19 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes to discuss afterwards and also technical devices. Learnings, how does this information work? And it shapes skills to discover this information. And the last one, now we need the, the, the blue sheet, please, Marta. I called Lurid. And I invite you to make a date with your pupils, with your students. For example, every Monday in the morning, another student brings a headline or a picture or a video to the lesson. And discuss about, is it a fake? Is it a disinformation? Is it propaganda or is it real? Is it important and who benefits? And I have a sample 10 need to know things about fake news. Um, the sources, the author, who benefits, remember? Retelling, did the author of the message misinterpret something? The third, lurid headlines, especially with lurid headlines, you should check whether the content delivers what the detail claims. Current or ancient, are the news really current? Check if the news have a date. The prank. Satiri news publishes news that is not mean seriously. So take a close look at the site. Other sources compare to other sites on the net. Have, this, have they the same content? Check. Maybe they are just copying from each other. Pictures. Does an image look edited or like it doesn't match the article? Check for authenticity. Well, it's a strange word. With Google Image Reserve, reverse search. Social bots. Prejudgment. We all have opinions on many, top on many topics. Try to approach information from the internet with an open mind and help. If you're unsure about information, ask te teachers or parents. So, we are at the end of the seminar. <laughs> this is the, oh, here is the, oh. Can Marie you Is it possible, possible to share already the link with the, with the um, yes. now? Uh, can, you, the can you go ahead for the next sheet? There it is. There is the, oh, it's also very small. I, I write it into the chat. Medienbildung okay. for me. Oh, I show it by that way. <laughs> uh, there you find the handout for the games and also the, um, the 10 needs for fake news to discover fake news. And now I'm open for some questions.
Okay, I'll put in the chat put the, the, the previous link so they have everything mm -hmm. available there. So what you can have a look. Have a look. So hard to notice the, the fake news. Mm -hmm. So I can't believe that nobody never shares uh, this information or a fake news. I think everybody sometimes is slippering on the soap of fake news. You mentioned something like Google image check. Yes. I can't uh, share my screen, so I can't show it. But when you go to Google, there is a small uh, icon like a camera and there you can um, make this uh, research. The... No, no, I don't know the word. Moment, please. Uh, we will re reverse search reverse search click the camera icon in the search box when you go to google you will see what i mean what exactly did you mean by it you mentioned something like google image check is it clear now uh, yes you can put there uh, any pictures and um, have a look where it is first published, maybe. Make it on your own pictures. You also, uh, Google will also show you similar pictures. Mm -hmm. If you have other questions, please post them here. I'm, there are also other tools for searching pictures but I don't know. Meanwhile, while we are waiting for the questions, questions, I will post the link to the, to the feedback form. form. So, so please, so participants, when you have time, not now, just now, save, save the, the link, link and, and give us your give feedback through this feedback form that I just posted. You have it there, so save the link and you can complete that. We can concentrate in case we have, we have some more questions, questions for my dear. Okay. I see a lot of yeah, thanks. No questions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, linked porn and this. And, did I get that right? Yes. I can also give you a link uh, to a short clip. Uh, it is um, made in, it was made in uh, Austria to um, show young people how porns work. It's re really, really um, a good, good thing. It is subtitled, so you can understand the dialogues. And it's also a good um, starting or opener for discussion with um, young people about this information. And there are also another game, maybe it is also interested for you, but the pupils have to be, um, yes, meaningful writing must on their mind. It is, uh, maybe you know it, ba uh, bad news. It is from a um, British organization created. In Austria, it's mim uh, Mimikama, Timo. Also Mimikama. I think also in, in every country have um, organization, organizations which um, which have the goal to um, support citizens in uh, fact check information. Uh, where are you from? Maybe I know one. Safer Internet is also an organization in Austria. 
Clicksafe, Clicksafe.de in Deutschland zum Beispiel. But you can also use uh, the Austrian one because you speak German. <laughs> It is mimikama.at and saferinternet.at or clicksafe.de. The most countries, the, mo the, the most have such an uh, organization, or also the BBC, is a, is a good platform. Thank you very much. Uh, I think in, in e-twinning e is also, there are also the information about the international organi organizations to save for internet, I remember all, isn't it? Martin? Thank you, Elena, for posting the link. One person would like to enter the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They are trying yeah, to thank join. You. Ah, yeah, digital strategy. Thank you. Thank you, Eleonora. And please participate if you have other questions. This is the Omen, this is your community. To ask Maritere. Sorry? Mother Things? No, I would suggest we wait maybe for a couple of more minutes in case they have other questions. Sometimes it take, takes a while for them to, to write in the chat. No problem. I see, I see a lot of thanks for you. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the seminar. And you, you, you got some ideas about your own way to fit media literacy to your lesson. It is only my way. I think everybody has to find his own uh, thing. Now uh, I lost control about my sheet. Yeah, I'm trying to find um, a link the participants regarding the cleaning and um, safety. It was really a great webinar. Thank you. So. So if so you, you can, can give, give one more minute, minute I will post, post in the um, chat, chat one, one link, link when, when you can also find, find some information. information. Well, well, first, 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 first of all, I would like, like you to, to join our group, group about media literacy. literacy. Awesome. And you and can you do it. You can know more about this group. Check in this article. And then I have one more link for you. Let me find it. I don't know <laughs> if you can find me on e-twinning. Um, in this article, you can, sorry, yeah. in this article, you can also find um, all different areas uh, that e-twinning covers regarding digital literacy, uh, intellectual rights and responsibilities, digital security, digital law and etiquette, and digital communication. All the into the topic of course of media literacy, which is the annual theme of it, as you might know. Mm -hmm. 
these, these are some links that can help you to find out more and explore a bit in between um, media literacy link to safety. I try, but your name. But you can can find me here. This is my website. Saying where, where, you, where they can find you in winning, so go ahead. <laughs> this is my website. You can find me there, but it, it's in German. I'm sorry. It's my first time in English. You were excellent, my dear. I know you, you, you were nervous about it, but... <laughs> Okay. Thank I you. Think there are no other oh, questions. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to I, my soul. I, my heart is. Yes. Yeah. I leave you the flooring. Do you want to see something to close? Something. Yeah. yeah. Some picture, some good advice. And yeah. Thank you for your intention. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the seminar and you could take something with you for your work. Um, yeah, stay in contact, maybe online, and stay healthy and have a nice evening. Ciao. Thank, Thank you very you. much for being here. It was a pleasure and I'm sure it was really interesting and inspiring for the participants. So, once again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wish you all a good <laughs> Are you are you from Austria? No, Tim Schlagelmüller is from uh, from Germany. Fiatti is a typical Austrian. Fiatti. Take uh, uh, God should God behüte dich. I don't know in English. Um, take care of you. Thank you very much. Take care and stay safe. Okay. So bye. Um, there are no no questions anymore. Everything clear? I hope so. Okay. I'm sure it's clear. Thank you, Martha. Thank you, Eleonora, for the support and the patient. <laughs> Thank you, you for being with us. Yeah. Uh, regarding the, the question of the first folio, um, I'm not sure what. The problem might be, but it should be automatically included in your portfolio. Okay. So, so please, uh, maybe just it is it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.